and welcome to day five of your fossil advent calendar. So today we're going to be talking about brachiopods. Now brachiopods are an example of shells either fossilized or still living. So you can find them on our beaches today just very recently washed up or you can find them fossilized from up to 500 million years ago. So these creatures existed from the Cambrian period. So they have lived a very long life and are still going. Now the key thing about brachiopods is that they're made up of two valves, but one is larger than the other. So they're easily confused with bivalves because they are also very similar shell creatures, but um, I'll talk about bivalves tomorrow, so I won't go into too much detail today, but I will show you some examples of brachiopods so I can explain them a bit more. But but before I do that, I'll just talk a bit more about them. So brachiopods, they live in marine waters and they tend to live at the bottom of the seafloor because they quite like to attach themselves to the seafloor either by like a pedicle, which is kind of like a stem or a foot that like glues them to the floor or to the substrate. So substrate is just another word for kind of a rock or just something they can attach to basically. Um, and that helps them stay where they are because they quite like to stay put so they can then extend their organ which is kind of like a tongue and it's called a lophomore lophomore let me check the pronunciation of that it's called the lophophore lophophore i'll write it on the screen because we all know my pronunciation could use some work but it's kind of like a tongue and they use that to grab nutrients and oxygen from the water and so it's kind of not only their feeding apparatus but also their respiratory system so they're pretty cool creatures I think and so some of them also just kind of sit at the bottom of the seafloor or some like bury into the first few centimeters of the floor so they're pretty snazzy creatures and they can either have a smooth shell or a ribbed shell now I found some examples of fossilized ones with a smooth shell so I'll flip the camera over and we can take a look. So I will just add that they like to be in shallow marine conditions. This is because they want a high energy environment. Because they like to stay put on the seafloor, they need the currents and everything to actually move the nutrients around so they can grab it with their loaf of force. So I managed to find some ribbed examples of brachiopods. They are absolutely tiny though, so they're not the greatest example for me to show you guys, but these are the four I've found since being here in France. But this one here is actually a lovely example to show you guys the valves. So you can see that there's two clear valves, one on the top and one on the bottom. But the bottom one is much larger than the top one, so they're not symmetrical. So I hope you guys can see that. So you can see the like gap in between the two valves there, and then the hinge is that bit there. So apologies, they're quite small. But... um that's that one so it just looks like that on the other side so you can see that one valve kind of overhangs the other valve and then the same with this one I think this is only half of one but you can see that the this valve here overhangs this bottom one but then the rest of the shells being worn away by the sea so it does look like a pebble on that side but I promise you it's a brachiopod and then these tiny ones are going to be just about impossible for me to show you the detail on but you can see the ribbing on these so you can just take my word for it that the valves are not symmetrical but you've got some lovely ribbing on those teeny tiny ones that's all i got for you guys today i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like and subscribe i'll link on my social media down below if you'd like to see even more fossil related content but thank you so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you tomorrow